All right, guys. So kicking off this week on Tuesday, we have got Mardi Gras happening, leading us into the 14th into Valentine's Day. What a fun romantic day. Also, if it's a sacred holiday that you celebrate, we've got Ash Wednesday happening that day. On Thursday, we've got the February 15th. We have got the Aquarius new moon for the month, which also is a partial solar eclipse. Now, a partial solar eclipse is just that. It doesn't all the way blot out anything. A partial solar eclipse is when the moon actually just comes between the sun and the earth, but it doesn't completely block out the sun. So while it's a partial and it is not the same as like the total lunar eclipse or any total solar eclipse that we'll ever have, um, it still has influence, right? There's still solar eclipse energy happening. So you're going to want to grab your chart and look at where this is happening for you. Where's this Aquarian energy happening for you? And if you haven't checked out my vi my video on the um, solar eclipse, make sure you do that. You can check it out at the end of this video. Now, we've also got on Friday... The Chinese New Year happening February 16th and this year is the year of the dog which is an earth energy grounded stable couldn't we use some grounding and some stable and maybe a little bit of calm coming into our year so that's very exciting as well so happy new year if that is something that you are celebrating here on Saturday February 17th this is where some things I think get interesting because Mars is going to step into a square with Neptune now what happens when Mars is in a square with Neptune is yes, information and action can start to be not so above board, right? Things can be a bit scandalous, can be even a bit dishonest or deceitful. Um, things from the past can kind of rear their heads here. It's a really interesting time of that kind of energy. But there are other things that I think is really important to pay attention to. Um, if you've been feeling sick, if you've been feeling like you've had symptoms, if you've had mental things going on coming up, don't be afraid to go ask for help. Don't be afraid to get that stuff out of your body. Neptune is also the energy of the lower portion of the body, the feet. Pay attention to your feet this week, especially we've got Mercury moving into Pisces. Is there something going on with your feet? Even if this is just symbolic or metaphorical, are you moving your feet towards the things you want to do? Or do you have some fears, some fake delusional stories in your head about why you can't move forward? Because the thing is, that story from the past that's not going to help you, right? Like, let's move forward into a different kind of reality. Something else that I want to just bring your attention to is that you could also be the person who is the subject of gossip this week, okay? Just information is not real clear, especially as we get to Saturday, okay? And then we've got Mercury over here stepping into Pisces, which puts Mercury in fall, which means that Mercury is not comfortable here. Mercury wants facts, wants details, want everything to be fast, sharp, and clear, right? Neptune doesn't have that. Neptune and Pisces energy can get lost in the emotionalism, and then we lose the facts, right? So you have to make sure that you're paying attention this week with a solar eclipse happening, with the energies having so much of Neptunian quality wrapped around them, it's really not the greatest time to make big, important decisions. Now, as we're bringing the week to the end, we've actually got the sun stepping into Pisces here on the 18th. So where I think that the vitality and the life actually can be useful this week, you guys, is if there is something subconscious, unconscious, psychological from the past that comes up that needs to be talked about, needs to be acknowledged for healing, needs to be acknowledged for reference. If you've been having these six sensory moments, these psychic moments, these intuitive moments, bring those to the surface. Talk about those, examine those, walk with those things, right? That's what this energy is actually very, very good for. If you have to have a conversation in a relationship because Mars Neptune could bring up some things in relationships. If there's a conversation that you need to have about what you need to be nourished, or if you need to listen to another person tell you, whether it be a boss, a friend, a lover, what they need for you to do to help nourish them, this is a wonderful week for actually speaking in that space of what could be right? Information, remember, is not totally clear to make some big factual decisions on, but it is certainly a good week to talk. And I will tell you too, for artists, this may actually be a stunning week for you to go out and create something phenomenal. So 
I look forward to seeing what you do with the energies that come this week. I look forward to seeing what seeds of intention you plant right here with this um, solar eclipse coming. If you are doing Mardi Gras, hey, I support you. If you are celebrating the Chinese New Year, hey, I support you, okay? It's going to be a really good week this week, guys. I can't wait to see you in classes. I can't wait to see you just this week also on Thursday for $3 Thursday. So I hope you are signed up. We will be discussing transits. How do you interpret transit? Stormy, you're telling me Saturn's in Capricorn in my first house, but it's not. Okay, well, come on. Come learn with me. $3 Thursdays. Click in the description box down below, and I will see you there. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week, guys. Love you. Bye.